Hey guys, Elpaka77 here, and today I couldn't really decide what to do. I was tempted to either do a player review or a squad builder, but as squad builders have been going down really well recently, I thought I'd do a squad builder today, and then I'll do a player review tomorrow, and hopefully try and bring you another another episode of the underrated silver of the week. But anyway, though, today's squad builder will be my tipple laden silvers. See here, I use the 3 4 1 2 formation. May not be your favourite formation for tipple laden silvers, these are just my favourite players and my favourite tipple laden silver squad. So I'm kind of cheating with the goalkeeper, but we'll jump straight into this. And for the goalkeeper, I'm using a Swedish goalkeeper that plays in the Alvin scan, and that is Hansen, as he fits in, and he's my favourite, one of my favourite goalkeepers this year. So Hansen will fit into the team on nine chemistry because of the Swedish centre back. He's got really nice stats: 84 diving, 79 reflexes, 83 kicking, and 72 positioning. He only cost me 550 coins. He's six foot one. So overall, he's a really nice goalkeeper. If you want a tip laden goalkeeper, though, you can go for Hirschfeld. I think Hirschfeld. I think that is. He's got some fairly good stats. He only costs 500 coins, and he's six foot three. But as I said, I go for Hansen. We'll go and find tip laden here, so I can show you the rest of the squad. And as for the centre backs, I've got the three here, but there is a much better centre back. I think he's called Hovland. B goes for about 15 to 20k, so I haven't decided to buy him as I don't really use this squad a lot, and I've just gone for cheap centre backs. But Arne Fjord is the one right in the middle there, giving the goalkeeper nine chemistry, 66 pace, 69 defence, and 80 heading. He's got a fairly nice stats for 60. 68 rated centre back, 6 foot 1, only cost 700 coins, so so far the team's looking really cheap. As for the centre backs, I use this guy here, he's got 71 pace, 74 defence, and 70 heading. He's 6 foot 2, cost me 250 coins. And as for the other centre back, it's this guy here, only 66 rated, but again, he's got 72 pace, and he only costs 250 coins again. So for left mid, he was a great player last year, and he's great again this year. And that is Diouf, 82 pace, 72 shooting, 75 dribbling, 77 heading. I loved him last year and he's basically exactly the same this year. 6 foot 1, 4 star skills, only costs 500 coins, so he fits there nicely. Um, we'll go to the right mid, and that is a new player that I don't think was on the game last year, and that is Gat, 91 pace, 65 shooting, 64 passing, 72 dribbling, and he's also got 64 defence and 64 heading. So that's really nice stats for a right mid. 64 defence is pretty good, that means he's going to have decent strength or something like that. So he is oh, he's 6 foot, but only has 2 star skills, but only costs 600 coins, so, the cheap, so it's really, really cheap, and overall the team so far is really cheap. So as the centre mids, you've got a couple of options. So these are just my favourite options. But I like using this Hurt Seth guy. 63 pace, 73 shooting, 74 passing and 78 dribbling. Not the best defensively, but his free kicks and shooting is insane. Sorry, he's only 6 foot 1. He is left footed, 4 star skills and 550 coins is how much he costs. So again, another cheap player. As for the other centre mids, you've got two options here. Agude if you want to go more defensively. He looks exactly the same as last year, to be honest. He's just as good as last year. Amazing defensively, and he's got great shooting as well. You can see there, really nice all-round stats. So I sometimes go with a Gude, or if I want to go more attacking and want another four-star skiller, I can go for this Serbian guy here. 66 pace, 74 shooting, 70 passing, and 82 dribbling. So if you want a Serbian, he's four-star skills, four-star weak foot, six foot two as well. Only cost 900 coins. But if you want a Gude, he... Is three star skills but cost 3k. So I'm just going to put a Gude in the team for a more defensive option. As for this centre forward, he's decent like last year, and that is Husserklep. 88 pace, 72 dribbling, 69 shooting, 62 passing. He's one of the more expensive players in the team. He cost me 6.1k, it's not too bad. He's six foot one, four star skills like last year, and to be honest, he's pretty much just as good as last year. There's another option you could use, and I think that's a centre attacking mid. You could change him to centre forward, that's called Fella, but I just go with Husserklep as it's really, really nice still. So as for the strikers, You've got El Yanusi here as a left striker. Pretty much like Husserklep, the same as last year. 88 pace, 78 dribbling, 71 shooting and 74 heading. He's 5 for 8, but 4 star skills, 4 star weaker foot. And he's the most expensive player on the team, as he cost me 8k. So as for the other striker, that is Preetza, I think that's how you pronounce his name. 73 pace, 74 shooting, 72 dribbling and 82 heading. But he's an absolutely amazing player. He was sadly he was a gold last year, so I didn't show you him. But he's 
come back to his silver this year and he's four star weak foot, three star skills, six foot one, 250 coins but his shooting is insane. He scored the most goals for me in this team and he's probably one of my favourite players. So there should be some gameplay on your screens now. I haven't used this team a lot online, I've been too busy using other squads and getting gameplay for them. But I have used it against friends so I've got a fair few goals here. Maybe not as many as the other videos but I've still got some nice goals to show you. So overall the team cost about sort of 20 to 25k, it depends on the price of Husserklep and El Yunusi and if you can get the other players for really cheap. But yeah, 20k is a really good price, for, especially for a team like this. Overall you've got Preza and El Yunusi up front, really nice strikers. El Yunusi is the fast one. These are how I, how I like using my strikers, having one sort of bigger, better at heading and one smaller with skills and pace. So El Yunusi is really, really fast. He's got nice skills and great shooting. Preza wins loads and loads of headers, scores, scores loads of headers too, and he's got amazing shooting. Husserl Klepp has got fairly decent passing, but he's pretty much like El Yunusi. He's really fast with great shooting. Duf and Gat at left mid and right mid. You've got lots of pace there, lots of strength, and really good shooting as well. The centre mids, really great shooting. You've got Hot Seth, I think that is, with four star skills, amazing left foot, great free kicks, and Agude is really good defensively. The centre backs aren't too bad considering how much they cost. They've kind of just gone with pace, really. So they've got pace, they're all above six foot, I think. So, to be honest, the defence isn't actually too bad. And then you've got the goalkeeper. Cheated a bit using the Swedish goalkeeper. He's really, really nice. Overall team is really, really fun to use. It's a great team, really cheap as well. So if you fancy a team like this with three at the back, then try it. It's really great attacking and it's fairly good defensively as well. So if I were you, I'd give this squad a go as it's really fun to use and overall it's a really great squad. So thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this silver Tipelagan squad builder. As I said for tomorrow's video, I think I'm going to do a player review. I don't really know what player review to do. I may do someone like Marco Sal, but let me know if there's anyone in particular that you want me to review who I've already got. I'm not going to go and buy any players just to review for tomorrow as I've got gameplay for quite a few already. But if there's anyone you know I've got, I've done a squad builder on, then let me know and I'll probably already have gameplay for them. As for the underrated silver of the week, I'm not going to tell you who that is, but you will find out when the video is out later this week and I'll probably do another player review or squad builder later. So thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like as it really helps. And as usual, previous videos should be on the screen now. So thanks for watching guys. Cheers.